Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today's video because we have a new collection from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Nomad Air collection or technically the Nomad Air Beauty... Nomad Air Beauty Care Essentials collection is the full name. Came with a little ticket. <laughs> um, this is a little travel slash skincare set and I am very excited for them to launch this. I think it's really cute. I love the packaging and I've already tried a couple of the things in here. There's a little travel eyeshadow palette, so we're gonna try that, go over what's in this, see what we think. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a definite soft spot for any makeup and high-end makeup. And I tend to take a pretty analytical approach to the content I make. I try to make thoughtful, analytical content and I have new videos every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. Okay, so this is going to be launching next week, I believe. The full reveal is in a couple days. Today's Wednesday. This came last night. Uh, I did message them to double check prices and stuff like that, but I haven't heard back yet. But I love this. They've sneak peeked most of it online already. I love the vintage theme. I like what they did. Very, very excited for this. I'm pretty sure because it says, because it's in this bag and everything, I'm it's probably going to be sold only as a set, but I don't know for sure. I'll put it here as I'm editing when I find out price, all of that. And of course, all of that will be in the description box like normal. Um, so it came with, they normally do like a postcard or something, but this one came with a little old school plane ticket. I do remember being a kid and having actual plane tickets like this. Um, not cardboard, but you know what I mean. Uh, so this is new line of skincare and makeup products from Nomad, uh, Dream Drip in the Air. So they want it, it's a four piece collection designed to hydrate through any and all travel. They are travel themed uh, brands. I think this is a really fun way to expand that beyond just themed eyeshadow palettes. So we've got four products in here. Everything is in aircraft inspired aluminum cases, which I think is really cute. Everything's supposed to be sustainable, recyclable. There's no dyes, no added fragrance, no parabens, phthalates, mineral oil. That's pretty standard. So the four products. There's a face cream, which they describe as a weightless hydration cream. Blends replenishing shea butter and jojoba oil for moisture locking hydration. It's an extra large 100 milliliter size. A face mist, uh, which is it says light refreshing mist that blends antioxidant rich rosemary water and moisture attracting sodium PCA, 100 milliliters, a lip salve, multi-purpose healing balm with rosehip, cottonseed, jojoba oils, sea berry fruit, and camellia flower. It's a 25 grams uh, for the lip salve. And then a travel palette with three mattes, three shimmers, and a slim mirror. So let's open this up. I think this bag is adorable. Also, I think it's funny, this is like the week of makeup bags for me. <laughs> I got my Lisa Eldridge order on like Monday with her special new bag. And then the same day, actually, I got the Nightmare Before Christmas collection with that bag. And now I've got this. Also, if the lighting gets weird, I apologize. I film in natural light in front of my windows. It's been raining all day, but I just got home from work and the sun came out as it's setting. So I don't know what that's gonna do. Um, it's a pretty big bag. I'm a large human. I'm six foot two. It's a nice size bag. Um, and it says Nomad Air, very Pan Am theme, which I love. It's got little airplanes for the zippers, which I also love. And then there's some <laughs> styrofoam. And then here is the inside of the bag. So you've got spots where you can put your brushes right here. There's the palette. And then the skincare is down here. Um, I've already used the skincare items. I used those last night and this morning, so I can give you some thoughts other than, you know, of what they feel on the skin. And then let's try out the eyeshadow palette together. I'm just pulling everything out of the bag. Um, so this is the travel palette. This is the face mist, the face cream, and the lip salve. So, start with the face mist. I did use this last night and this morning. My husband used it. It's not a setting spray, but it is a hydration mist. Really love the packaging. Um, it definitely has a slight refreshing that rosemary water definitely gives it like a refreshing 
smell. It's got a really nice sprayer. I don't want to spray it on my face now because it's mostly water and I do have makeup on. Um, you probably could spray this over makeup, um, but it's more of a hydrating mist. So I used this last night. It's water, uh, butylene glycol, rosemary leaf water, the sodium PCA, um, and algae extract. Uh, I used this last night and it felt hydrating. Like my skin immediately had a hydrated glow. I sprayed it on work for a few hours before bed. Really liked it, used it again this morning. My face feels a little dry. Um, really nice, especially when you're traveling. I mean, this is 3.4 ounces, so it's technically TSA safe. Uh, that is something, you know, when you're traveling, the, the compression in the airplane, um, the recycled air, all of that uh, definitely makes me feel dry. I really like the Kosas spray when I'm traveling, but this is also another really great one. So I am excited to have this. Uh, and if you have dry skin, having extra hydration is great. This is something like my boss likes to just, you know, they sometimes get like hot and they have dry skin. So they feel hot and they're fe they need hydration. And while they're drinking water, they're also spray, basically just a water spray. This is something I feel like they would like a lot. The next product is the face cream. So this is not something that I would use in the mornings. I like a really lightweight moisturizer because I have normal to oily skin. Um, but I think if you have dry skin, if you're traveling or as a nighttime moisturizer, this would be nice. It's not, for having shea butter and stuff, it's not super heavy. So it comes like this the top on screws. There was, you know, a protective piece of foil there, but I took that off. And it's this white cream. This was like the first thing they did a sneak peek of. And it is really nice. I might use this during the winter in the morning. And I love that the welcome back to the golden age of flying. I just love all the little details they did. Um, I'll put it on the back of my hand so you can kind of see the texture. So you can see it is, it's like a gel cream. It's not a full, like, thick, like, I have night creams that are, like, really thick, and they slowly melt into your skin. This is definitely lighter weight than that, and really hydrating, so I think if you have dry skin, this would be nice anytime, um, or if you're traveling and your skin dries out, or for me, I'm going to try this at, I tried it last night, but I'm going to try it for a few nights and see what I think, um, but... I think my skin's gonna like this, um, but it's just knowing my personal preference. I don't like lotions at all. They just kind of sit on my skin, I find. That's why I like a gel product. Those tend to soak in. Um, and this is a little more on the lotion side, but it is, I've tried a few products that describe themselves as like a gel lotion or a gel cream or something. And this is that kind of consistency. So if you like that type of product, I think you'll really like this. And then the last product before we do the eyeshadow palette, this should probably be a pretty fast video, is the lip salve. So this I did try last night and I wore it again earlier. I really like this. Um, I did have 12 months, it has a 12 month shelf life. You get a lot of product, this is a pretty big salve. Um, and then here is the product, it's really beautiful. And because it has rose hip in it, um, it does have a rose smell. Um, but it's, you know, natural, it's from the plants. But, and they said, I was talking to the owner, and part of that was the vintage vibe of it. And it felt nice on the skin, the, the scent faded. But, uh, and this felt great. I mean, I have lipstick on, so I don't really want to put this on. But I did really like this. It felt really hydrating. It is a salve, so as you rub, it kind of melts in. And... You can see, I'll put it like right here. It's just like a clear, it's not super sticky. I think it's a really nice on the go lip product. I will definitely get a lot of use out of this, but I did have an emotional day yesterday. So getting this was a nice emotion, but a lot of emotion. So um, I've mentioned this before, but my mom died when I was a teenager. Um, I, then I was basically homeless before that. Then my mom died and then my cousins took us in. My cousins took us in and then my mom died. 
Um, this smells like my mom. <laughs> um, she always kept soaps in her dresser, like in each drawer, so that her clothes often had this smell to it. And the minute I opened it, it made me think of that. And the reason that's important is because yesterday when I got this was the 20th anniversary. It's been 20 years since my mom died. I was 15, um, so I'm 35 now. And I had a really bad day. It was one of those where you, your body can tell it's not a good day. Woke up bad, things were going wrong. Piece of clothing got ruined. Work was weird. My boss was having a bad day because of an emotional thing too. Um, it was raining and cold and gross. And so I was just like, we, went to, we tried to go out for dinner. They didn't have the one thing I eat there. So then we had to go somewhere else. Like it was just a, not a great day. And then I got this package and it's so cute. And this smell just made me think of my mom. And I had a very emotional response to that. Um, so I am very excited to keep using this. Um, and I think as long as you are okay with rose scents, I think it's a really nice lip balm, lip salve. <clears throat> but I did have to send them a message last night with like explaining that. <laughs> um, okay, so move on from the sad, uh, let's talk about the palette. And then I'll do a quick eye look and then I have some more I have to go. <laughs> so this says six rich blendable shades in buttery mattes and luster shimmers curated for, you know, carry on travel. Um, I think this is great. I think a good travel palette for me is neutrals and then I might grab a liquid shadow or something sparkly to go with it. But in general, when I'm traveling, I want like, I just generally travel with like bronzer and like an Urban Decay um, space dust or something. This is the palette. Cardboard, very slim. Looks like standard Nomad packaging. It's got the little sleeve. It's got a nice little mirror. And then this is the color story. So you've got light, medium, dark mattes, and then three shimmers so you can kind of mix it up. So you've got a coppery shimmer, a uh, champagne, and then a nice like chocolate brown, but it's also got like red speckles in it. So I'm gonna do quick swatches. I'm gonna wash off my hands so I don't have this. And then we'll do a quick eye look and that's gonna be the end of that. <clears throat> okay, and if you're curious about the rest of my makeup, it'll be in the description box. It's just what I've been wearing all day. The Surratt Dew Drop House Labs Concealer and the Hourglass Leopard inside. Mine has the snake outside uh, palette. Um, I think that's it. And then Merit lipstick. Okay, so I didn't want that to sway how the swatches look, so my hand's nice and dry now. So let's do some quick swatches and a quick neutral eye look. So the first shade is Let's Take Off. And it feels like a normal matte from Nomad, very creamy very silky, I should say. Up, up and away is the second shade. I feel so sad ruining these embossings. And then Fly the Skies is the dark shade. And it does go pretty dark, which is nice. So, well, kind of a pale taupey brown. Nice kind of darker brown, like neutral brown. And then kind of a charcoal. E brown, that's nice. And then the three. So find your wings is this more coppery shade. Feels very creamy. Definitely ruined the embossing. <laughs> Bossing, embossing. Um, I've had this makeup on for 12, 11 hours now, by the way. I think it looks really nice still. I haven't powdered or done anything. Um, Follow the sun is the middle shade. Again, really creamy. And then see the world really pretty. So inner corner, smoky eye, a really lit shade. I think this is a pretty versatile palette. I think this is the same formula that was in their last palette, the Ghost Town. I really like that. Okay. So Let me wipe off my fingers and let's try a look. Okay, so I grabbed my NARS eyeshadow primer. 
a little bit of that down. I did my makeup, but I did nothing on my eyes in anticipation of filming when I got home. I am wearing mascara, but that's it for the eye area. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up, this is my Lisa Eldridge brush that I just got. The video where I'm using this for the first time will probably go up next week. I want this to go up right away because announcement, launch, all of that. So let's pick up, um, it's, there's no product on it. It just looks dirty from using it. So I'm gonna try the lightest brown and see how that works. Okay, it's, yeah, definitely a nice kind of neutral taupe. I think would be a good transition shade for a lot of people. I think that's really pretty. Feels like the normal Nomad Bats. Yeah, I like that. Nomad doesn't really change their matte formula very often. I've seen slight improvements over the years and I've seen improvements in the shimmers. Um, but the mattes are really consistent, which is something I appreciate. Okay. Nice pale transition. Pick up the middle shade. And put that here. This could be a transition for darker skin. Blending together really nicely. Also, I did adjust some filming settings. I do still, I'm still filming with my phone, but I adjusted some things. So let me know how this looks by the way. I mean, I'll also see as I'm editing, but curious what, if anyone notices that it looks a little different or better or worse or, you know, anything like that. So let me know. I could definitely go smoky with the dark shade. I might put a little bit right there. I just sometimes, I just can't help myself. Really like that. I think I could use the copper. The copper is really pretty all over the lids. That would look nice. I think I want to use the dark brown. Um, I'm going to grab, this is just a Ruffer 21, my go-to shimmer brush. Picks up nicely. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. It's a dark brown, like a dark smoky chocolate, but it does have that like red copper sparkle running through it too. So it's not flat. There's a little bit of dimension to it. I really like that. You could have also probably just put this all over the lid and blended the edges with the mat, but Which is what I might do on a regular basis. I like that a lot. Okay. I'm gonna do this on the other side. Okay. Really, really like that. I'm gonna flip the brush over and pick up a little bit of the champagne shade and just kind of lightly tap it on the inner corner. But I'm like literally putting like barely any on. I don't want like an overly bright inner corner. And then I'm just picking up, the, I'm using the same brush and just turned it over. I like that it got kind of a flat side and I'm just going the middle shade right here. Just to even everything out. Okay. I really like that a little bit more lipstick on. This is 19. I really like that. Um, I think this is a really cute collection. Um, I hope the shimmer is coming across on, in, on camera as pretty as it is in person, but I really like this. Like I said, I don't know the price. I don't know for sure if it's 
all sold together. I'm assuming so. It seems like a travel set, but I think this is really cute. Um, so if this is up your alley, I think this is probably worth uh, exploring. Um, I'll have pricing and all of that in the description box and a link to Nomad. Um, and I do have a code with Nomad. It's not affiliated. I don't earn any money. It's just bones. It'll save you 10% um, on, I think, well, everything. So I'm assuming this as well. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I really like this. Really, this is really pretty. Um, and I'm excited to use the skincare more because based on last night and this morning, really liked it. So we'll see with prolonged use what I think because um, you can't really tell skincare opinions after two uses. <laughs> but I did want to get this video up ASAP um, in case anybody wanted to buy it at lunch. Okay, so let me know in the comments below what you think. What you think of the collection? Are you thinking of getting it? Uh, what you think of the theming and like it as a whole. I'm really curious what your thoughts are. As always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, it really does help and I will see you in the next video.